I picked more watermelon today. It's been just a couple days since I picked the last one. And this one, to give you kind of a uh, size thing, a regular sink, it fills up the whole sink. When I weighed this one, it weighed 32.6 pounds. One watermelon, 32 pounds. And then I picked another one over here. This one was 23.6. So I had 63, over 63 pounds, and I picked uh, uh, about uh, just about 60 pounds again, like 56 pounds or something like that. So I'm going to have lots of watermelon to eat. Remember that great big 32 pound watermelon? Look how big this thing is. That is just huge. You know, that's my hand here. So we're going to cut it in half because we can't put it in the refrigerator because it's so big. It's too heavy. We put the 23 pounder on one of the shelves. You can see the shelf is already bowing. It was only glass shelves. So we had to pull that out. So we're going to cut this one in half and maybe we can get it cold on uh, half in there and half yeah. in there. Yeah, put, put half in each refrigerator and that's a tough one. Yeah, it's it's tough, but oh. That's pretty. I don't know. That's water running down it. Yeah, these watermelon been ah. really, really juicy. Ah. Where's the other side? Yeah. <laughs> ah. There it is. Clear down there. Hang on to. Oh. You, you know it's big when you have to keep turning it to get it to cut in half. Holy mackerel. Oh man, does that does that look good? That Oops. that looks like dinner and lunch for a few more meals. <laughs> oh my god. Man, that Dude. that looks good and, and it's it's gonna be juicy too. They've all been juicy. But each one this half of this is is probably about fifteen to sixteen pounds. This is 32 for a full one, so probably 16 pounds a piece. That's just half of it. So you can see the, the diameter with my hand. You know, that that's that's huge. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we have a tape measure here handy, but let me pause it and go grab a tape measure. Alright, I, I, I have the tape measure. We're going to go across. It looks like a little over probably 11 and 5 eighths inch diameter that way and 12 inch diameter that way that is a huge watermelon and then we're gonna look at the height here I don't know about eight inches so that makes it about 16 all together yeah 16 inch by roughly 12 inch watermelon and that's a volunteer we didn't even plant this one it's one of the seeds that come up from from volunteer and that's that's all it's, it's ripened so far we've got uh, uh, some that we planted that are going to be huge as well. We've got a variety called water snake that is supposed to be I forget, a rattlesnake. I, what do I call it? I call it something else, but rattlesnake. Water snake. <laughs> water, <laughs> water snake, yeah. <laughs> rattlesnake. It's a light green and dark green and a kind of oval oh, cylinder looking thing. I've shown them in other videos. You can take a look at those. We'll, we'll get those and those get ripe. Those aren't ripe yet, so it'd be a little while for those. But that I thought that'd be interesting for you to see I'm this huge, pieces. huge uh, watermelon. I think I have two pieces to cover this sucker. Yeah, put some cling wrap on there, and one piece isn't even big enough to cover it. It goes right, right to about here. So I got to put two pieces on it. It's so big. I don't think I've ever seen a watermelon that big. Yeah. You can, you can hear in the background. We got a freeze dryer running back over here with some uh, tomatoes in it. We pureed them. They're gonna make tomato and paste we out of them. We got lots of tomatoes to go, so you have to watch for those on the uh, uh, the tomatoes. I got I have another one coming out. Yeah, that that's that we did the last batch. We made two of these out of there, and they're two great big uh, batches. So anyway. We'll show you the what we end up with uh, tomato powder. That's gonna be nice and useful to keep for a long time. So anyway, back to the watermelon. This was this is gonna be good. Once it gets cold, we'll be able to eat it. 